Yo, what up, home fries? Hey guys, so this might be a totally pointless video, but I thought I'd show you guys the progress for my Star Butterfly cosplay that I'm going to be wearing to Anime Expo. I'm so excited. I am 100% sure now that I am going. We booked everything, so I am so excited. But I thought it'd be really cool to show you guys like my progress, here's like the rest of the stuff, and then do one other video of um, my cosplay all together so you guys can see kind of like how it's going and maybe I'll explain a little bit of how I did it because I'm really, really happy happy with it. I cannot wait to wear it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more cosplay stuff. Alright, so first of all I'm going to show you guys the boots. I'm actually super happy with these boots. So there is a big problem with these boots. Um, I think they look super cool. I love how they came out. I wanted to use rain boots because I just think like Star's boots look like rain boots and these were red when I bought them. I got them at Goodwill so that is like awesome. I got them for like four bucks. And I bought spray paint and I bought like spray paint that said it was for plastic so that it'll stick well and yeah it's not sticking well so if you guys have any tips what I can do with these boots as you can see they are cracking really bad I mean like that's nothing you should see like down there I don't think you guys can see it but there's some spots on it that are crazy cracking I think I put maybe about 30 to 40 coats not even kidding on these so that it will stay but every time I walk like as you can see here every time I walk it does that and that was only about walking for maybe like from one side of my yard to the other side of my yard should I put some kind of coat over them do you guys know like maybe some kind of should I use spray should I just paint it over with the normal acrylic paint do you guys think that'll work because I thought they were awesome but then when I started walking oh my god the cracking was crazy like this whole part wait which one is it I think it was on this side, it just cracked like like really bad. I added another like 10 coats so you guys can't see it. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have any tips because I'm terrified these are just gonna end up being red when I take them to the convention. Like you can see it a little here if you see the light, it is like really cracked and it's starting to show the red part and I don't like that. So yeah, I really like those. I have a tutorial on pretty much everything here. I recorded it already and I'm going to be putting them up as soon as I can. I'm going to show you guys the accessories. Here is the headband. I made it myself. I actually didn't have a red headband thingy. I looked everywhere and I could not find one so I just put some ribbon around it. I think it looks kind of messy. <laughs> like on camera but honestly when you put it on you can't tell whatsoever that it's like that it looks like a regular red headband and then I made the the little horns I really wanted to make them a little pointy and like going inwards I really like the way this looks with the wig like a lot and then here is her her purse her star purse I actually I have a tutorial on everything like I said so I'm not really gonna go into big detail because that's gonna be in the tutorial but I did use like a big shoelace for this and I really like it except I did it a little bit too short and I can't fix it and I think it's at an awkward length but hopefully it'll look okay I'm honestly super happy with it I think it's really cute <laughs> and then my baby over here the her wand oh my god guys this was so annoying to make and I am so happy with it. I honestly think it looks great except for like a little bit of the back. It's a little bit bumpy but I couldn't do anything about it because that's how the foam ball was but honestly I love it. Really 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 love it. Honestly my mom said it was so good that I should try selling some so um I might make one for sale. I don't know. I really really like it and since this was my first one my next one's gonna be way better because I know what I did wrong, what I did right, what didn't work out. So I'm just really, really, really happy with it. I did the um, star and the crown and stuff a little bit more gold than yellow. I, it was actually originally yellow and then I tried to paint it a little bit gold and I just thought it looked so much better. I love this baby so much. I think it's awesome. <laughs> and then of course we have the dress. It was like the skirt was easy to make. I just I like this color I ended up picking like this color for her little octopus and I really really like how this came out and I really like it because I made it into an iron on patch I've seen some people make it out of like felt and then sew it on and stuff and I just thought this looks so much better because it's actually like you iron it on and it sticks right to the dress so it's like part of the dress now which is awesome I had such 
a hard time with the color. Oh my god. And they were supposed to be the same, and this one's a little more rounded than this one, which annoys me so much. But I didn't want to do it over. It was so hard. I'm just not good at that. I think the dress looks really, really, really cute. I'm going to wear like a big petticoat. It's going to look adorable. And then here we have the sleeves, which is a nightmare. I can't stand sleeves. I don't, I'm not good at sleeves. Help me, guys. If you know any good tutorials, let me know because I made myself a sleeve pattern for this. And guess how many I made? I made eight different sleeve patterns using three different videos because none of them came out right and none of them came out right like no one single one this side is weird like I sewed it on but it does this weird like wrinkle here so I'm gonna have to take it off and then on this side with the second pattern I made where did you go well the second pattern I made was so short it has this big hole because there's not enough fabric <laughs> I'm just gonna take that off but I'm almost done with it Oh god, and then there's the wig. Ugh, this cosplay was a little bit of a, um, I don't know how to say it, because this is actually the third wig I ordered for Star, because I was not happy with any of the ones I was getting. The first one, I, I got them on like blonde, and I was looking at the pictures, but you know sometimes the pictures don't match what you get. The first one was blonde, like bleach blonde, which is, it didn't work out, and then the second one was almost an orange blonde. <laughs> So I was like, come on guys, it's not working. This was the third wig I bought and I was like, I just, I can't buy another wig. That's crazy. And this one is really thin and it was really shiny. I like washed it and put like baby powder and a bunch of stuff. So it'll be less shiny. So hopefully it won't be that shiny. It's super long. I really, really like the length. I like the color. Like, <laughs> I wish it was a little, little different. It does look a tiny bit orange, but it's mostly like yellow blonde, which is pretty much her hair. And this is what I'm doing with the bangs. So I tried really hard to do like her actual bangs. Like one side has like this big one and then it has like two. And then it was just not working out. Um, so I did it first, like a lot similar to her bangs and it looks so bad. <laughs> so I ended up, this is what I ended up with, and I honestly think it looks really good, like, on. At least it looks better, even though it's not 100% accurate to her hair. I try to do just, like, her little flips. So this one looks really cute. I already, like, I use, like, um, hair glue or spray and stuff, and I'm just pinning it so it'll stay on there. And then this side, this is part's going to be more over here. But I just used one tiny little flip. I was trying to cut this and then use a lot, but... It was looking bad, and then my forehead was looking really weird, so I put more hair on this side. <laughs> so that's just kind of how it ended up being, and it does look really cute. So for this one, I'm going more for, like, it looks better, even though it's not as accurate, instead of, it's accurate, but it doesn't look that good. <laughs> so that is my star cosplay. I cannot wait to wear her. I am so excited. Are you guys going to Anime Expo? I cannot wait. I am super duper excited. But here it is. Um, all like on my bathroom and then later on I'll make a video so you guys can see it all complete like completely on and stuff and yeah thanks for watching guys sorry if this video was pointless maybe I'll erase it later but I just thought it was kind of fun to do so bye guys I'll see you guys in my next video oh if you guys want to follow me on my Facebook by the way and Instagram and stuff I post all my cosplay pictures on there so you guys can see like after the convention I'm gonna be posting pictures of what this looks like on and stuff so don't forget to follow me I'll link it down below and bye guys